A recent newspaper headline said that processed meat was to blame for one in 30 deaths. What does this mean? Does this mean that if we all gave up eating bacon, 3% of us could live forever? Does this mean that sausages are the latest global threat? Well, maybe not. In a previous number hub, I talked about micromorts, which is a one in a million chance of death, which is a really good unit of risk to compare things that are gonna kill you straight away, like riding a motorbike. But when we think about things like pork pies, they are not gonna kill you straight away, unless you choke on them, but they're not gonna do you any good in the long run. So how can we compare the risks for these lifestyle choices that we make? Epidemiologists try to work out what are called hazard ratios. That's the increased annual risk of death associated with some habit. For example, smoking 20 cigarettes a day roughly doubles your annual chance of dying. In the study reported recently, based on half a million people, they estimated that there was an 18% increased risk of dying each year for each 50 grams of processed meat that you ate per day. That's about a bacon sandwich or a sausage. Of course, these numbers are really difficult to estimate and are based on all sorts of statistical assumptions. And actually, my judgment is that perhaps a better number would be around a 10% increase in risk. So what does this mean in practice? Well, take a 35-year-old man. You'd expect him to live, on average, about another 45 years, and that's until he's 80. It turns out then that if he did eat a bacon sandwich every day and increased his annual risk of death by 10%, his life expectancy would be reduced by how much? by one year to 79. Now, that doesn't sound very much. In fact, an English author, Kingsley Amis, said, I'm not gonna give anything up for the sake of another year in a geriatric home in Western Supermare. But let's look at it another way. One year lost in the remaining 45 is about the same as losing one week each year, or half an hour a day pro rata. So that's half an hour a day from eating the sausage. That sounds terrible. It's longer than it takes to eat the sausage, unless you're a very slow eater. Of course, it's impossible to say what the effect of one sausage is on you. This is based on the averages of long-term habits over many lifetimes. Now, it turns out that a million half hours is about 57 years. That's roughly the length of an adult lifespan. So we can think of a half hour as being a millionth of an adult life, and we can call that a micro life rather similar to the micro mort. So you've got 48 micro lives a day you're using up, but in fact, you can spend more or earn more depending on your lifestyle habits. For example, smoking 20 a day reduces your life expectancy by about eight or nine years. That's about five hours a day. 10 micro lives, about 15 minutes a cigarette. So if you smoke 20 a day, instead of going towards your death at 24 hours, you're going at 29 hours. It's as if you're aging faster or slower, depending on your lifestyle. And most people do not want to get older quicker, except possibly some teenage girls. And what about drinking? Recent analysis of many studies suggests that the first alcoholic drink each day actually gives you a micro life, an extra half an hour on your life expectancy. But the second and third, and so on, take it off again. So it's as if it's medicine, poison, 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 poison. It's not medicine, poison, medicine, poison. That would be ridiculous. And two hours being totally sedentary, just watching television on the sofa, is associated with losing about one micro life, about half an hour. On the other hand, if you get up and do about 20 minutes moderate exercise, that gives you a great bonus. Two micro lives, an hour on your life. But even more exercise doesn't give you the same gains. Another 40 minutes of moderate exercise will only give you about half an hour. So you better like exercising. So what's the moral of all this? Well, first of all, we might have a unit, the microlife, that enables us to compare all the lifestyle choices that you might make. And as well, I think the big lesson is that if you're going to eat a sausage, eat it slowly and savour it. And let me remind you, it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe to Head Squeeze. But if you watch a lot of the videos, make sure you get up and move around afterwards.